Assuming an equal amount of work, which of these screws would require the least amount of force? Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science and the force distance trade-off in work. As a machine changes the size of the force, the distance through which the force is exerted must also change. Force or distance can increase, but both cannot increase at the same time. When one increases, the other must decrease. The formula for work equals force times distance. If it takes 150 newtons to move an object one meter, it will require 150 joules of work. Now let's use a ramp. Take the same object and you're going to move it one meter off the ground, but now you're moving it on a ramp, a distance of five meters. Therefore, you will only need to use 30 newtons of force. So as distance increases, force decreases. And as distance decreases, force must increase. Let's apply this concept to some simple machines. When a wedge gets longer, the force decreases. As the distance from the fulcrum of a lever increases, the force will decrease. When there are more pulleys, it takes less force. When the radius of a wheel gets longer, it requires less force. When the rivets of a screw get closer together, it requires less force. So remember, as distance increases, force decreases. And as distance decreases, force increases. So the answer to that first question is B, because the rivets are closer together. Remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.